Good evening. When I created this character, I had no idea what I actually wanted it to be other than I wanted it to make this noise. When doing my bald cap today, for whatever reason, I decided that I was gonna use a wig cap underneath. Did not like, do not recommend. I then decided that I wanted this character to have no eyebrows, so I covered him up using a washable glue stick. Also turns out that the back of my makeup brush doubles as a very good smoothing thing, actually. Surprising I've never done this in all the years I've had makeup brushes, and I should probably actually mention that that is the handle of a made you look brush. I had no idea that so many people had no idea that I have my own line of makeup brushes until I launched my body paints, which by the way has been the most incredible experience of my life, but I guess I'm not very good on the self promo apparently. After I've covered my brows using concealer, I'm then going to create a liquid latex brain. You can get a mold for these brains at pretty much any party store, Halloween store, especially around Halloween time. I mix together Graftobian's liquid latex, like, quite a bit of it. With a smidgen of pink eyeshadow to give it a more pinky tone, which I ended up not using a pinky tone anyways, but that's besides the point. And you'll just want to layer the mold with multiple layers of liquid latex. You can dab it in or you can brush it in. Just make sure you let it dry in between layers. Significant amount of layers. Later, you'll be able to peel it out. Make sure you also powder it so it doesn't stick to itself. It's probably a lot of instructions for a whole lot of not, I didn't film that portion of the video. But it's not difficult, trust me, just time consuming. And then using a little bit of prosade on a Q-tip, you can also use spirit gum. My skin tends to hate spirit gum. And applying it where I want the brain to be stuck down to it. I probably applied a little bit of an excessive amount. You probably do not need that much, realistically. Mainly just the edges. I also applied some more prosade around the edge of the brain and also onto where it's going to be a little bit underneath the brain as well. Using Graftobian Modeling Wax, which is my favorite and absolutely amazing and a little bit of makeup remover on my fingertips, I just made little snakes and stuck it down onto the brain. You mainly want it to be more on the brain than actually on your skin because you're gonna be blending that down onto your skin. Just trust me, it makes it a little bit easier in the end to stick it more on the brain than on your face. Once you have it all initially stuck down, you can use a little bit of makeup remover on your fingertips and just smooth out the edges, blending it down into your face or side of your head. I'm also using the back of a made you look makeup brush to smooth down the edge of the top of where the brain and the head kind of disconnect or are opened. Using Graftobian's Flexible Wax Sealer, which I could not open for the life of me, pro tip, do not let it dry inside the cap because you won't be able to open it later. This product is great for sealing wax, but also is very strong, so please make sure you have your windows open when you use it. I probably couldn't open the wax sealer because I have half a brain. Uh. I'm then applying foundation using the Made You Look Fluffy Foundation Brush just everywhere. Mainly, I just think it's a good base for body paint. Advertising aside though, thank you guys so, so, so much for such an incredible, successful launch of my body paints. I'm going to be using the color Yeti and made you look body paint. The body paint release is literally a dream come true, a life dream come true. Some people want cars, some people want big houses. You know, I just wanted a body paint line. And to be able to launch this product has, my October has been made just from this. My whole year has been just, I can't, I can't describe it to you. I really can't. It has been the most amazing time of my life. Somehow for the third time on the internet, I have managed to make myself look like an egg. Go ahead and prime your eyes. At this point, I didn't really know particularly what I wanted to do. All I knew when making this look is I wanted for this character to make the blinking noise. Ultimately, I decided that I was gonna lay down some white eyeshadow and then some black eyeshadow on top of that. Initially, it was pretty messy, so I went back in again with white eyeshadow and just blended 
everything. It need it needed assistance. It needed to be blended very badly. I then went ahead and lined my eyes, doing my normal cat eye shape. The pencil broke. But then I continued lining my eyes as normal. I also knew that I wanted some sort of design on this. I didn't want it to just be pure white. I've done a pure white kind of look like this before, which I love black and white looks, but a lot of people gave me a lot of compliments on this look from the body paint launch. So I wanted to overall channel that type of vibe with like this drippy, sort of runny, maybe Billie Eilish kind of music video sort of effect kind of going on. And all of the black body paint in this video is the Made You Look body paint in the color ink. Going into the Made You Look body paints in the color Vampire, which if you get a Halloween pack, by the way, which is the color Oak, Vampire, and Bone Tone, just know that before you wet Vampire and Oak, they're very easy to mix up, but once you wet them, one is dark red and one is dark brown. That's just a little bit of a heads up. Anyways, I'm using the color Vampire to color my brain in. Then going on the very bottom with Vampire still in my makeup brush and mixing in ink along the bottom edge of the brain and then just kind of lightly painting it as I go up. I wanted the darkest part of the brain to be at the bottom. Going in using only the color ink, I'm then applying it right to the edge of where my head splits before my brain is uncovered. I also added a little bit of a drip because I felt like it needed to kind of tie in a smidgen. I thought that looked nice. Decided that I was going to add another one to the other side. And then I thought to myself, what does this look need? For sure, eyelashes. Eyelashes are definitely going to make the blink blink perfect. I made them out of paper. They're very addicting to blink. Once you start blinking, you may never stop blinking. It may never end. You may do this for the rest of your life. You may do this till the end of time. You may never be able to stop. It is a complete possibility. Do this look at your own risk. Once you're done messing around though and you decide, ah, you know, maybe I need to curl them a little bit more, then you can go ahead and just do that. I also decided that I wanted my eyelids to be a little bit darker, so I added liner to the top of my lids. I also didn't want to make paper lashes for my bottom lashes, so I just drew on my two lashes and it looks exactly the same. And here we start on our lip adventure. I'm looking at this, I'm like, does this need lips? I don't know, do I need black lips? Thanks, I hate it. So if by chance you do mess up and you're going to take off your body paint and reapply it, you could take it off using water and a rag, but when you reapply your body paint, if you put foundation underneath it, if you put primer underneath it, make sure you prime or put foundation on that spot again. I then thought to myself, well, maybe I could do a little drip kind of coming out of my lip, and I, as I'm painting it, as I'm watching it right now, I'm like, no, this does not look good. This, this looks, this reminds me of, this kind of looks a little bit, this does not look, this looks kind of a little bit like not something that I was thinking that it was going to be looking like. And I'm like, mm, nah. You ever have it where you pull the hair out of your drain? On to everyone's favorite part, blood. This is Graftobian's blood gel. As you guys can see, it's nice and thick. It's pretty much like jelly. And to jelly my brain, I just lightly scraped it on over said brain. I also kept in mind that I did want more blood around the edge and not as much blood around the rest of my brain. Also keeping in mind that over time this will drip down. So you don't want to have like an excessive amount on it. But blood gel is my favorite blood to use because it is thicker and I feel like it's easier to work with and get it to sit where you want it to sit at least initially. And so now you know what I think of when I hear the blinking noise. If you enjoy my video or any of my videos, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I know I've talked about it the entire video, but thank you so much again to everybody that has purchased the Made You Look body paint, Made You Look makeup brushes, or anything from my website. I will put a link in the description below. Also, if you have purchased the Made You Look body paint, let me know in the comments below what is your favorite color.